Welcome back to Makeshift Game Time. I don't know which game time this is. Doesn't matter. We're going to hop right into the games. We got top fives. Brian, guess the top five grossing movies of all time. Of all time. I would have to guess Titanic is on there. Titanic is number three. And I'm going to say a newer movie, Avatar. Avatar is number one. Not the second Avatar. Is the second Avatar on there? Second Avatar is number wow. four. Avatar Way of Water. Wow. So what do I have? One, two... You one, have one, three, and four. One, three, and four. Um, Second one I have high hopes of you getting. The fifth one is a little tougher. I think I know one of them. Is the Wizard of Oz on there? No. Oh. That's Top Gun. No. <laughs> From the top. <laughs> that's I think Top Gun Maverick is probably on the on the list, though. I would assume. Okay. Um, let's let's think here. Top grossing movie. Jaws. No, 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 no. Don't go too far into the past. Okay. Star Wars? Is it a Star Wars movie? Yeah. I'll just tell you which one. Star which Wars one. Episode 7, The Force Awakens, is number five. I would have never guessed that. No, or I never, I've never would have guessed the actual episode. episode. Yeah, fair. Avengers. Which one? Endgame. Endgame, that's number two. That's a pretty good top five right that's there. Three, that's three. That's all of them, right? Yeah, it was all of them. Wow. That was good. That was, that was a strike I'm right impressed. there. I'm Guess the top five highest paid athletes in 2023. Oh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry's not on the list. LeBron James. No. Kevin Durant. No. Uh, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is number two. Cristiano Ronaldo. He is number one. Are they all soccer players? No, they're not all soccer players. Um, there's one more soccer player, though. There's one. <sighs> Neymar. No. You, you can get this. Benzema. No. Mbappe. Yes. Okay. Mbappe is four. So one, one two, and four are all soccer players. So um, is the other one in the NBA? There's no NBA players. It's not MLB, so it's got to be NFL. Is no. It, is it tennis? No. Is it a weird sport? Hockey? No. No. What else do we have? Think close to home. Close to home. Your home. Baseball? No. Golf? Yes. Oh, wow. John Rahm? No. Rory McIlroy? No. Tiger Woods? No. Phil Mickelson? Yes. Phil Mickelson is number three. Because it's the live golf yes. over there. Okay. Yep. So Dustin Johnson. No, the other one is not a golfer. <laughs> okay. It's a sport that you have yet to name. UFC? I boxing. Mean, boxing? Yeah. It's not Mayweather anymore, no. obviously. Uh, Canelo Alvarez. Yes. Wow. Yes. Has Ronaldo? He this year? Uh, no. Maybe once? Not, not in 2023. Yeah. So it's Ronaldo, Messi, Mickelson, Mbappe, Canelo Alvarez. That's impressive. Interesting list. That is crazy. All right, guess the top five most watched TV show finales. Wow. TV show series? Yeah, series finales. All right, Friends? Friends is number four. All right, I'm happy I got that one at least. Um, Game of Thrones? No. Surprisingly. Really? Yeah, some of these are a little older, but I think you got a good shot on number three. Not Breaking Bad? No. Um, number three, I feel, I feel older. good for you. Number three, you feel good for me. Is it one of the shows that I like? Is that why? I mean, it's in the realm of friends. Oh, okay. Always Sunny. No. Um, what's the other one that everyone likes? Oh, Seinfeld? Seinfeld's number three. Okay. Okay, I, I need you to channel your, your inner TV land. The Sopranos? No. <laughs> oh, that's... You ever watch TV land growing up? No. It's like, it was channel 34? It's like a little... No, I, I never watched that. Your dad would... would he probably would know what that is. Absolutely know this first show. Uh, is it a, oh my God, I'm forgetting the name of it. It's, is it like a crime show? No. Uh, is that, NCIS on there? Or no. The other one. No. Not the other one. It's <laughs> no. a, The Wire. No, no, no. Oh, um, the fifth one on this is Mike DiMatteo's favorite show. Oh, Ocean. No, no, no. Not Ocean's Eleven. It's one of those weird crime shows though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Tell me that one. Magnum P.I. Yeah, Magnum. That's, <laughs> that's, his that's crazy. Uh, number one is an acronym. NCIS. No. Um, it's like a war time type show. I'd be really impressed if you got it. I don't it. know. Tell me. MASH. Wow. Your dad would know. Yeah. Um, and then the second one has Ted Danson in it. They're in a bar. I don't know who Ted Danson is. It takes place at like a bar a lot. It's something you say at a bar when you toast. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers is number two. Oh, that's the one in Boston. Is it? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got MASH at one, Cheers at two, Seinfeld at three, Friends at four, Magnum P.I. That's Sleeper a sleeper. That's five. an odd list. It is a crazy list. It's an odd list. All right. 
Guess the top five richest rappers. Oh, man. Kanye West. Number one. Jay-Z. Number two. This one. P. Diddy. Number three. He's going in order here. Uh, oh, this is Drake? No. Uh, He's just outside the top five. Eminem's not. Eminem is five. Is he? Wow. Yeah. So he must be. There's number four is left. Lil Wayne? No. Is he uh, well-respected? Yes. Very well-respected, I would say. Nas? No. no. Stupid guess. Bad guess. <laughs> oh, geez. You, you ever just freeze? Yes. You have no idea. You can't even name <laughs> you a can single rapper? You can get this, though. I know you can. I believe in myself. Uh, Snoop Dogg. No. Not a bad guess, though. Who's the other one? Do you want a clue? Yes. He's also a producer. Dr. Dre. Yes. Wow. Yeah, Dr. Dre's on there. I right would actually expect him, him to be over whoever I said there. He did he? Yeah. He's close. That's a lot of money on that list. <laughs> that seems like it. All right, guess the top five largest U.S. states. I'm talking square mileage. Alaska? Alaska's number number one. one. Yes. Texas? Texas is two. Montana? Montana's four. Oh, I was trying to go in order. California? California's three. Oh, I would have got in order. I don't think there's any way you get this last one. You don't think so? I just feel like they're so similarly sized, a bunch of these states, like six through ten. Really? Yeah. Nevada? No, Colorado. Colorado's eight. Oh, Wyoming? Wyoming's nine. <laughs> no, come on. Um, Utah? No, not even in the top ten. Damn. Um, okay. Okay. I could, I could get this. I could get here. Arizona. Arizona's six. New Mexico. New Mexico. By, by <sighs> slim margin You just have to Arizona. list all the ones that are shaped in a square. Yeah, because I guess area, <laughs> They're the same right? thing. That's the equation. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Impressed. Guess the top five most spoken languages in the world. Oh. First one is English. English is number one. Yes. Spanish. That is number four. Italian. Italian's not on there. French. French is number five. <laughs> number two and three you need. <laughs> two and three? What other languages are there? German. No. These ones are a little tougher. African. No. <laughs> I don't, I'm just, that was for the meme. Uh, uh, American. Chinese? Yes, it's Mandarin, Mandarin? but yes, Chinese, yeah. Is it another form of like uh, Chinese? No, it's, think population. uh, Indian. Uh, Uh, It's it's Hindi, but yes. Hindi. Indy. And the reason why is because people want to do, when people want to do business with people in India and Chinese, they have to, it's respectable to learn their language. I read that. So they all know each other, even in China. They I have, guess so. Like, uh, at least you need to know some sort of it. Well, that's why English is number yeah, one. Exactly. Because everybody does, cause English is the language of business. Some people say Mandarin is. Some, I mean, maybe it is. Probably both. Probably both. All right. Okay. I want you to guess the top five popular desserts in the U.S. Cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, number one. Brownies. Brownies, number three. Cupcakes. Cupcakes, number two. Cake. No. Oh! <laughs> we're going for the sweet. We're on a hot streak there for a second. Um, desserts? Candy? Is that a dessert? I wouldn't call candy, no. Um, ice cream? No. What? Yeah, I don't know how it's not on there. No way. Honestly, any of those, or chocolate chip cookies and brownies paired with the ice cream, ultimate combo. Yeah, it is. Warmed up. I might get that tonight. Um, all right. Let me reevaluate here. Do you count like warm pretzels? Is that like no, a dessert? No, no, no. Churros. No, you're you're classifying in too specifically for number chocolate. four. Chocolate. Type of chocolate. Dark milk chocolate. No, think of like sampling. Oh, fudge. Fudge, number four. Oh, fudge. Number five is a little bit more specific, but it's... Cannolis. A, no. <laughs> What were you, you going to say? I don't even. I don't even know. <laughs> it's. It's. Uh. You could say this generically, and then that's. But it's a specific version of that. Car- caramel. No. Caramel. No. That's like a flavor type. <sighs> think. Uh, the, think back in the generic. Chips. Realm. No. Um. You said cake, but it's not cake. <laughs> cake pops. <laughs> no. 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 I was close. No. 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 Oh. Um. Icing. No, think back in like, you know, cake. Cake. And now, and you said like cookies, cupcakes. 
Cake pops. What comes to mind? Generic. Maybe, may, so you're thinking too sweet. Dough. No. <laughs> you're thinking too sweet. Salty? No, there's actually some, I, I mean, it's not healthy for you, but like, because it's got a certain flavor. I don't know. Tell me. Apple pie. Ah, uh, pies. Yeah. I don't know how official that list is, but <laughs> we, no. the yeah, internet okay. says some things sometimes. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Um, Guess the top five party schools in the USA in 2023. Mm. And this is, some of these are a little tough, uh, but go for it. Duke. No. <laughs> Maryland. No. Illinois. Illinois was on it, but no. Um, Indiana. No. Wisconsin. There's none in the Big Ten. Alabama. Alabama, number four. Uh, LSU. No. There is one in Louisiana, Georgia. though. No, not Georgia. In Louisiana. I don't think you would know the name. Give me the mascot. I don't know. <laughs> the first letter is T. T, uh, t um, Tulane. Yes. That's yes. number two. What a pull. So you got four and two, Bama and Tulane. Mm. You could stay down south there. Yeah, yeah. It's, am I in Florida? Yeah. UF. No. FSU. No, Yes. Florida State. Seminoles. Florida State is number three. Now you need number one and number five, and I don't think you'll get either. Where am I geographically? The West Coast is one. West Coast is one. USC. No. Close. It's in California. University of California. Yes. Ca University of California, Santa Barbara. Yes. Okay. And then the last one, number five, is on the East Coast. I don't think you'll get it. No North. Um, no. <laughs> it's in D.C. Oh, American. No. Um, Maryland, no. No. I know it because I went to school by what DC. Was it? Uh, it Howard? Yes. That was a wild card. Yeah, I mean, it's a, the, I, don't, I don't trust that list. Yeah, I don't either. Maryland I was trying went, to find one that's Maryland slick. went harder than Howard. Probably. I have one more for you. Okay. Guess the top five. I also have another one. Oh, so you do? Yeah, I'll let's get you go. Get we you got ten. Like, yeah, we got it all. Let's go. Um, guess the top five NBA Finals favorites right now. Okay. Celtics. Celtics. Are they number, number one. one. Suns. Suns are number two. Mavericks. Mavericks are not on there. Bucks. Bucks are number three. Celtics, Suns, Bucks. Let's go with the Warriors. No. no Steph's. Mm. Yeah, Steph's that out of no. It's definitely not the Nets. Um, <laughs> it's not the Nets. The, let's think here. It's not the Mavs. Mm. Let's go the Clippers. No. I think they're. On the cusp of the top five. The but. Heat. No. Think think uh, potential MVPs. The Cavs? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Donovan wanna, Mitchell. <laughs> who on the Cavs would be? <laughs> Evan Mobley. Um, <laughs> um, I'm blanking right now. Think like the last two MVPs. Oh, the Nuggets? The Nuggets are number four. <laughs> And then the Sixers. The 76ers are number five. The Sixers are not winning. There's literally no chance they they're, win. I don't think they're going to win either. There's I'm, no way. There's no I chance. Just, I don't see it happening. No. And Bede's very... I've watched him a lot recently on this East Coast swing. Yeah. With the or Atlantic Division swing. Yeah. Um, I'm not that... Uh, they could prop, maybe get to the finals, but there's no chance they beat anyone in the West. He's a, such a good scorer. I just yeah. don't think he's a winning no. player. No. All right. Guess the top five most followed TikTokers. You're really testing my knowledge here. Yeah, I am. Number one's Dixie. No, it's Cobby. Cobby, lame. Cobby, lame. Cobby is number one. Cobby is number one. And then you got Dixie D'Amelio. No. Not, I mean, Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio is two. <laughs> then you have Addison Ray. Addison Ray's four. Who's number three? He skipped over one. Uh, They're both close. Is it Dixie's not on the no, list? No, Dixie's not on the list. Is it a guy? No. Number five is a guy. Number three is a girl. Not Alex Earl. No. She's not. She's like three closer. million. Yeah, she's not there. We're yet. closer to her than she is to them. <laughs> uh, Bella Porch? Yes. Nice poll there. Thank you. Number five. Number five is a guy. It's not, he's not just a TikToker. Like his main profession is something else. Is it Will Smith? Yes. Is it really? Yes. 72.7 million followers. I'm proud of myself. There's a big gap in between number one and number five. Like, Cobby Lame has. 
double the amount of Will Smith. You know, I think when they get like those audiences, I feel like they hold on to it. Like they don't yeah. want him to lose that. So like they yeah. just keeps gaining followers yeah, yeah. to be known as the number one. Yeah. All right. It's great. It just multiplies. It's yeah, nuts. it does. All right. The European countries draft. I'm giving you the first pick. Okay. I want you to have it. I'll take European countries draft. I'm taking Italy. That's the, the right. I think it's the right pick. The food, the culture, the scenery. I don't know. I'm going to struggle with this. Uh, I've never been to any of these places. Let's okay. go with uh, first overall for me. First round for me. I'm taking Spain. Okay. I like Spain. Name a city in Spain. Barcelona. Nice. Yes. Good job. We know what we're doing here. It's beautiful there. <laughs> it is beautiful there. That's nice. That's, uh, yeah, that's David Villa. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to go. I'm going to take Germany. Oktoberfest. You got the beer. You got the pretzels. You got beer gardens. A lot think, coming out of Germany. I think I could have went without that. I that's was, a good player right there. Is it? Yes. I would have rather taken France. Yeah, I was debating between that. I think France is the number one toward uh, country. All right. I, Based I, off Zach's head. I'm just making <laughs> stuff up at this point. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take Conor McGregor's land, Ireland. Yeah, Ireland. 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 Um, that's cool. They have good Guinness over there. They do have good Guinness. And Jameson. I don't. You think it actually tastes that different? Probably not. Okay. Maybe. No, it definitely probably does. You think? Yeah, I think it does. All right. I think part of it's played in whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Where do we want to go here? I'm going to go with uh, Greece. Ooh. That's, I thought you were going to go a different route. I was going to take Greece next. Oh, yes. That means it was a good pick. They have those buildings with the blue roofs. Yes. In Mykonos. <laughs> in Mykonos. And they have Athens. And they have Athens. Where the Olympics started. And they have uh, Gr- uh, Greek food. And Greek gods. And Greek gods. Zeus. What a pick at three. Yeah, that was a good one. I was going to take that. I'm going to take England. That bad weather. Yeah, but it's a very staple city. And the Peaky Blinders are from there. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if I would have went that direction. Uh, Let's go. Mm. I'm going to take Austria. I'm happy you took that. Austria is beautiful. I That's, saw, you're I, just saying that about every country. <laughs> I saw pictures, man. I saw pictures online. Pictures. And it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Is it? Proven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, that's where Arnold is from. Yeah. Arnold. I'm going to take Switzerland, the safest country in the world. Switzerland's a good one. I like that. I thought you were going to take that. My last pick, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Sweden. What was that? Sweden. One more time. Sweden. Nice. I'm going to go Sweden. Why? I heard they're really nice over there. Okay. I and I heard it's beautiful. They yodel. <laughs> they do yodel. Let's, can you yodel? I, no. <laughs> okay. I'm not even gonna attempt that one. I don't want to embarrass okay. myself. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Next draft. What are we doing? You got first. Yeah. Go for it. With the first pick in the shooting guards draft. I'm going to take Michael Jordan. You have to. Yeah, you have to. There's no other route there. I'm gonna take. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. You have that's the second one. You have to take. Him. You have to. It's the replica of. Michael There's Jordan. no other way those first two picks go. No. Now this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to take Dwayne Wade. I was going to pick that. I think people forget how good Dwayne Wade was mm-hmm. when he was with LeBron and Heat, and even before that when he carried uh, the Heat to the championship in '06. Yeah. Uh, great player. Yeah. I'm going to take Allen Iverson, and a lot of people were saying we should have taken him in the point guard draft, but he's just not a point guard. He's a shooting guard. I think he played both. Yeah, but I'll he's listed as point as uh, shooting guard. Is he? Yeah, I, I had him. He would have been my. It's like LeBron. Time. You could ta- you could draft LeBron in any position. You but. can. That's my problem with all that, like Luca and James yeah. Harden and stuff. They're all point guards now. Yeah, everyone's gonna interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna go with an unpopular pick. There's a lot of big names on here, but they weren't a better player than this man, Clyde Drexler. Okay. Going going throwback there. Have to cool jersey, cool yep, name, yep, yep. better player. I don't want to take this guy. But I feel like I have to for his MVP season and his scoring ability and his prime, James Harden. Again, I don't like the pick, but I feel like I have to respect him. The route you're on, too. You got AI and you got Harden that really kind of play both positions. Yeah. It's tough. Tough for your team. Tough look. Uh, It's okay. (laughs) I'm going to go with the longest or one of the longest tenured shooting guards and players of all time, Vince Carter. I wanted him. Talk about a career. I wanted him next. Vince Carter, VC3. All right. Is that? VC3, yeah. Is it? Heaven sent. 
That's the poster. It's I not have. VC three though, is it? Yeah. Wasn't he fifteen? VC three. When he like shoots three a three pointer. Yeah, that's what they used to say. Interesting. Um, talk about three pointers. I'm going Ray Allen, one of the best shooters of all time. And he gave LeBron his first title. He did give LeBron his first title. Yeah. It was from Ray Allen. Yep. Dedicated. Yep. And one of them was from Richard Jefferson. All right, I'm going to take him because he, he was a beast, and he killed the Knicks in the playoffs years after year, year after year. I'm going to take Reggie Miller. Mm, I wasn't expecting that. Three-point shooter kind of changed the game, All and right. he, was a, he was a big game player. I'm going to take my personal preference here. Not maybe the best on this list, but I'm taking Tracy McGrady. Yeah, that's, a pop, that's a popular one. Yeah, I that's, think T-Mac, like that. T-Mac is a legend. The Kevin draft I'm taking first overall, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Funny guy. He's funny and short. He's a funny guy. Oh, man. This makes it tough. I'm going to take Kevin Durant. I think he's one of the best scorers of all time, one of the best players of all time. I'm going to take him. I'm going to throw him in there. Yeah, that's a good I can't let you have Kevin Durant and Kevin Hart. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. But you're going to let me have Kevin Garnett because that's who I'm taking. I'm I'm fine with that because I don't need – you could have gotten him later because I I don't need a basketball player now. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm going off the cuff, off the realm. I'm going Kevin from The Office. I was going to take that too, actually. He's a beast. He's the best. He dropped the... The beef. The stew. stew. Yeah, the beef stew. Chili. Chili, chili, He chili. dropped the chili. We watch the show. I'll t- <laughs> um, all right. Cat's out the bag now. Yeah, I don't know who to go here. You're going not real, so I'm going to go not real as well. I'm going Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Kevin! Do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, Kevin no. <laughs> will not do it. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, uh, they're coming to the back door. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Now we're we're just on a fictional route here. That's mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Kevin from Up, the Big Bird. Yeah, the bird guy. That's that's not the He's best. He's the best. Um, it's not the best pick. Russell would disagree with you. Russell would be a good pick at, in the Russell draft. No, he, but he has Kevin. A, he has a, one name. He's Kevin. not, eh. and he's a, he's a rare eh. bird. He's a rare bird. I'm gonna take one of your favorite actors, not favorite, but you like him, Kevin James. That's Paul Blart Mall Cop. All right, he's the Paul Blart Mall Cop's a classic <laughs> film. I'm gonna go with Kevin Bacon. What do you know your Kevin Bacon number? No, and I know that there's a website for it. I think so. It's like the five degrees of Kevin Bacon. It's yeah. like everybody's within five. Yeah. Five Everyone's related family. to Kevin Bacon somehow. Yeah, and I feel related to him with him on my team. Fair enough. I'm going to just do this just for fun because I think it's a cool pick. I'm taking Kevin the Sea Cucumber from SpongeBob. That's... Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. That's Hi, good. Kevin. That's good. That's good. That's good. Ah, do I want to go actor? I, I'm going to take Kevin Costner. I knew you were going to take that. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I thought a better pick would be Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. That's a good one, too. I had Kevin Jonas on here, too. Mm. I saw him on an airplane once. Yeah, but he's always left out. Yeah, I didn't say That's hi. okay. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, you're up. I'm so excited for this one. The SpongeBob characters draft. First overall, I have to take SpongeBob. Yeah. It's a guarantee. It's a lock. Second overall, I have to take Patrick. All right, now we now we now the draft starts. Now the draft starts. The draft starts. We got now. that out of the way. Oh, we're good to go. <laughs> There's so many good characters. Well, there is a good up. lot of good characters. I'm gonna take Mr. Krabs. All right, you are Mr. Krabs. I kind of am Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Can you elaborate? You're cheap, cheap, and rich, and rich. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mr. Krabs. He's a good guy. Hard working. He, the Krusty Krab wouldn't exist without. No, you're right. Mr. The Krabs. operation doesn't run without. What's his name in real life? Or Eugene, not in real Eugene? life. But Eugene Krabs. Eugene. Yeah, the operation doesn't run without Eugene. He's worth like five mil. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take Squidward. I know he's a little down sometimes, but he's got a good heart. Yeah, I, I was thinking along that route of like the classic characters, but there's so many good ones underneath. I know. Uh, I'm there gonna is. take Gary. Okay, the Gary snail. the snail. He got lost one time. Again, I'm I'm going with the more hot take ish on these next two picks. That's, you'll see. That's fine. I'll go with the Flying Dutchman. That's a good pick. That's I good. like that pick. See, I like that. He is a good personality. Uh, I got three more picks. Two more picks off. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Fred the Leg. Is that the My Leg guy? My I didn't know his name. I was going to draft him. <laughs> I didn't know his him. name. That's a great pick. Uh, it That's is a good awesome pick. pick. It is a good pick. Underrated character. Um, 
uh, now that you're going this route, I feel like I should go that route. Yeah, it's fun. We're having fun. Should I, should I go that route? If you want. All right, for my fourth pick, I'm taking, and bear with me, Smitty Werben Jagger Man Jin Jensen. <laughs> I was going to take him with my last round pick. I wanted, he was number he, one. He was number one. He was, not number two. Oh, that's so good. Oh. So, ha. I'm between that. two players. I'm going to go with Doodle Bob. Okay, that's a that's an angry man right there. You need some fire on the team. You have to have it. You have to have it. I'm not going to be creative with this last pick, but I think it's a I think it's a key. <laughs> Should I go creative? Do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go a little off the beaten path. I'm going to take no. I'm going to take Sandy Cheeks. I feel like she needs to be drafted. Yeah, she does, and and that's fine. I I didn't want her on my team. She deser- and- she deserves a spot. I was thinking along the lines, the dirty bubble. Yeah. Larry the Lobster. I was going to take Larry the Lobster. Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy. I didn't bubble even think bu- about that. Would have been a good that would have been a good one. But and I, we just didn't even draft Plankton. Yeah, but... Because he sucks. And he's small. What's he going to do for me? Out of nothing. Tough. Fail. <laughs> time after time. The celebrity fighting draft. My team versus Zach's team. Here we go. First overall pick. I'm going to take The Rock. I like The Rock on my team as my captain. Also, side note, we can't take UFC fighters or boxers. All right. That's fair. Let's see. Where do we want to go? Well, I have to match your size here. I'm going to go Jason Momoa. That's a good pick. He's a giant. He is a big Hawaiian man. Yes. He'll, he'll, he'll throw hands with the rock. Uh, I'm going to get another, another, another big guy in there. Terry Crews. Oh, that's a... I didn't even Terry know Terry Crews. He's an animal. He is a beast. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take Chris Hemsworth. Hem... <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna take chris hemsworth thor i think he's a he's also a unit he's strong one of the strongest celebrities out there he is a unit i'm gonna go half thor bjornson aka the mountain okay he's in game of thrones he's one of the world's strongest men he's massive yeah you know what i wanted to write him down i didn't know what his name was the mountain the mountain i can't pronounce his real name I'll this is going to be a heavyweight fight so far well, you think <laughs> But we have to have diversity on our team. Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to diversify soon. Uh, I'm going to take the Great Kali. Yeah, that's a good pick. They, they would match up well, yeah. the Mountain and the Great Kali. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm moving away from the heavyweights after this. I will, too. I will, too. Um, I'm stuck between two. I'm going to take Michael B. Jordan. I think he is ripped, especially from playing Creed. And he, he probably has some fighting background. Yeah, definitely. Uh, from training for the movies. I'll go you, Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. I, I think he's like 56. Yeah, he's a little older. He, but he is shredded. He's still in great shape. I don't know about that pick, Zach. That's a, he's, Wolverine. That pick. he's Wolverine. He's yeah, Wolverine. He's not Wolverine in real life. He's ripped. <laughs> he is ripped. I have three guys on my mind, four guys on my mind that I really want to pick. Well, you only get one. I'm going to draft a guy that I think would actually help my team in real life. I'm drafting Tom Hardy. He actually fights. Does he? He won a jiu-jitsu tournament in England. Really? A couple months ago, yeah. Okay. So I think that that's a solidified fighter on my team. I'll take someone who actually fights too, I'm pretty sure. Jason Statham. Oh, Jason Statham. Statham? Statham. Jason Statham? That's an interesting pick. I was going to take Wiz Khalifa. Why? Because he fights. Yeah, but... Or Batista. I had Jackie Chan. That's a fantastic... You should have taken him. No, but he's too old now. He is too old now. And then Chuck Norris I had on here, too, just to throw out. Mm. I I had Mark Wahlberg, but... I also did. I am happy with these teams. Yeah, we'll see. Who wins? All right. With the number one pick in the Bearded Men draft, I'm taking Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, I'm so happy you didn't take my pick. Yeah, well, take him. This is the number one pick that you should have taken. Let's see it. Santa Claus. Oh. You think of a beard, you think of Santa Claus. The yeah. most iconic beard of all time. You know, I was I was sticking with, uh, you know. <laughs> what <laughs> was that? I was sticking with real things. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to spoil it. I don't know who's watching. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take Nick Offerman. Who is that? He's the guy from You're Parks and You're botching Rack. this draft. Nick Offerman's you are got one botching, of the best beards. You're botching you this have, draft. You have no idea. I'm no. taking Abraham Lincoln. You are Fair. botching this draft, I Zach. I don't even have Abraham. Botching. You know what? Yeah, tell me what, Zach. Tell th- me what. I thought we were drafting live people. <laughs> <laughs> tell me. I thought they had to be alive to be drafted. 
Oh, I just I'm just gonna get cooked. Uh, J- uh, James Harden. That's a good pick. Okay, because his nickname is the Beard. Yeah. So We're, I'll give you that. We one. bounce back. There. You saved the team there. Um, <laughs> should I say? Should I stay not real? Yeah, go yeah, for I'm it. going to. I'm taking Dumbledore. Dumbledore, the longest beard that I've ever seen. No, you know what? Sure, I'll take Hagrid. Superior. I was going to take Hagrid. superior beard. <laughs> I was going to take Hagrid. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> last pick. Um, no, I have two. Two more picks. I'm going to save this one for my last because I don't think you'll take him. I'm going to take Drake. No, you talk about throwing away. Throwing away team here. There's so many people with great beards. There is. There is. I'm going to take Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, that's a good pick. You're yeah. saving this draft now. Yeah, and you're you're taking a left turn. Mm. I'm going to take Mr. T. Now, that's a draft pick. No, I would have went Kimbo Slice before Mr. T. Mm, I don't know about that. Kimbo. I don't know. The best beards. All right. That's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New York versus Miami. Who has better food? Better food, I'm going to have to go New York City 10 times out of 10. 10 times out of 10? Sure. Good food in Miami. Yeah, but it's not. New York's got everything. Fair enough. What about music? Uh, I'm going to go Miami. I'm going to say that, yeah, not from an artsy perspective, but more so like the clubs. Okay. And, uh, you know, nightlife, music's bumping, popping. Well, nightlife Uh, is another category. uh, So do you want to rethink or no? (laughs) Stick with it? I'll stick with it. All right. Weather. Weather is Miami. Yeah. Why do you always have to think about that? <laughs> Last time you thought the about it. The weather one always throws me off. Nightlife. Nightlife. I'm going to go. Oh, man. Talk about a tough. I'm going to go New York City. Mm, I would have went Miami on that one. It depends what nightlife you're into. I feel like there's That's not a lot true. of variety in Miami. You got the clubs and stuff. New York, That's you get true. everything. A lot, of day, a lot of day parties in Miami, though. Yeah, they also have the beach. That's not nightlife. Though. Yeah, that's not nightlife. True. Sports. Sports. New York. Yeah. I think New York has the best sports in the country. That potentially debatable. Boston. Boston. No. No. They have the Patriots. No. They had the, the that's Red not even Sox. Boston. Yeah, but it's uh, like New England area. They're in Rhode Island. Are they? Yeah. Providence, I think. No. I don't know where they are. Yeah, but I, the, the, if somewhere. you're from Boston, you're a Patriots fan. Fair enough. So, and uh, there's a few cities that are pretty good. Italy versus Germany. Who has better food? Italy versus Germany. I think Italy has the best food in Europe. Okay. Maybe in the world. Wow. Weather. I would say definitely Italy because Sicily, southern Italy gets pretty warm. It's nice, nice temperature. Sure. Music. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, the German music sounds angry. I'm know. going German music. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, Oktoberfest gets me fired up. All right, that's fair. Sports. You have to, like, lean soccer, right? Yeah, you have to lean soccer. I'm going to go Germany. Bayern Munich. Okay. Nightlife. Nightlife, I'm going to go Italy, solely based off the Jersey Shore season that they had in Italy. <laughs> One in Rome. So Italy wins, I think. Were they in Rome? Be- uh, Ven- Venice? Uh, no. I don't know where they were. Venice? All right. USA versus Italy. Who has better food? Italy. USA is not top five food in the world. They don't have it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. What about music? They don't got it like that. Uh, USA. They definitely have the music, I would say. I do like Italian restaurant music. It's soothing. It's it's like elevator music, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like at Olive Garden? Sure. But not... American. Yeah. (laughs) Um, What about weather? Weather, I think... I think I'm going to take the USA... Just because you get more variety depending where you are in the country. I would you could agree. always get to warm. You could always get to cold. I agree. It's bigger, more variety. What about nightlife? Nightlife. I'm going to take USA again. Okay. I and think then, night, nightlife's probably nice in Italy. It's great, but I don't think, I don't think it compares. All right. And then sports. USA. Best athletes in the world. USA almost sweeps. I, I think they did, besides the food. Yeah. So that wouldn't be a sweep. Yeah, but we have some Italian food over here. So, But I'm going to stick with Italy. Okay. That. That's fair. Mexico versus Canada. Who has the better food? Uh, Mexico. Yeah. What does Canada have? Bacon and syrup? Yeah, syrup. No. And bacon. No. And syrup. Weather. <laughs> Definitely Mexico. All right. But Down. Canada seems awful in the winter. Uh, we've done yeah, it. It, it is it awful is in the winter. <laughs> uh, music. 
Definitely Mexico. Think I of, love Hispanic music. Yeah, but think about the artists that have come out of You're Canada. Right. You got Bieber. <laughs> I'm going to go Mexico. All right. Who else came from? Drake. Canada? Drake. <laughs> Bieber. That doesn't Shania carry. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. That doesn't carry. Josh Richards. Interesting. Sports. Ooh. Sports. I'm going to go. I'm going to. Ooh, this is tough. Sports. I'm going to go Canada. Because there's a little bit of leakage from the U.S. in basketball, and they have hockey. I like that. Nightlife. Mexico, 100%. Ooh. Mexico, 100%. It's the, one of the biggest spring break destinations in the world. Yeah, but I think nightlife, like you're talking Montreal, Toronto. I'm going, Can- or I'm going Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Confuse yourself there. I'm going Mexico. Chicago versus L.A., who has better food? L.A. had a good variety of food when I was out there. Chicago's got deep dish pizza. I'm going to go L.A. I'm not a fan of deep dish pizza. Yeah, I don't think I'd like it. More of a pie. What about music? Ooh. L.A. Your boy Kanye comes from Chicago. Yeah, but... Chance the Rapper, right? There's a lot of rappers there, but I feel like rappers are now out in L.A. That's fair. So it's a bit like If you're talking about where it's originally from, probably Chicago, but I'm going to take L.A. Okay. All right. Uh, what about weather? Weather is L.A. All right. That's three for three. Nightlife. Nightlife is L.A. Sports. Sports is L.A. L.A. just swept Chicago. In what? Everything. You just oh, oh, voted L.A. I thought when you said sports, it's like, what? Are they playing? No, <laughs> they just swept the board on your draft board there. Yeah, L.A.'s fun. It's cool. I like that out there. All right. Nashville or Boston was better food? I think that Boston has better food. Oh, that's a tough question. Yeah, think about it. I'm going to say Nashville because I like that southern fried chicken kind of food over the seafood boston has great seafood but i'm not a huge seafood guy okay that's fair weather weather is 100 percent nashville yes. you know what i'm gonna go boston because Ooh. if if nashville gets cold it doesn't get cold enough to snow but it still gets cold enough to not go outside so i'm gonna take boston to get all the seasons hot take love it yeah music oh definitely nashville has to be nashville yeah sports music capital of the country um, sports, easily Boston. Yeah, they might be the best. Yeah. Um, nightlife. And this is the tiebreaker. This is a tough question. It, it is a tough question. I've never been out in Nashville, but from what I've heard, it's extremely fun. I'm going to go Nashville. Yeah, I, I think I would take Nashville over Boston. Nightlife, yeah. So sure. Nashville, Nashville wins. For sure. Stats without names, 4,643 passing yards, 45 touchdowns, six interceptions, or 5,097 passing yards, 50 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the first guy. I think I, I like playing it safe. Less yards, less touchdowns, but way less interceptions. Yeah, that's 2011 Aaron Rodgers MVP yeah. season versus Patrick Mahomes MVP season in 2018. Okay, yeah. Aaron Rodgers has been around a long time. It's a big debate on who has like played the position at the highest level. A lot of people argue that 2011 year. Yeah. But Mahomes is making some arguments in some recent I seasons. think Mahomes could potentially give tom brady a run for his money at the end of his career interesting all right this is for one game okay super bowl specific mm. 201 yards three touchdowns the 72 percent completion rate no interceptions or 182 passing yards three touchdowns and a 78 percent completion rate i'm gonna go the second guy he's got another touchdown and the completion rate is significantly higher s- touchdowns oh. are the same <laughs> i'm gonna take I, i'm not really sure I'm going to take the second guy simply because he has like 5% more completion rate. Okay. I, it's Tom Brady's last Super Bowl with the Bucks when he won. They beat the That's Chiefs. who I picked? No, that's the first one. Okay. Second one's Patrick Mahomes in this past Super Bowl. Yeah. Patrick Bowl? Mahomes played well. They didn't pass for a ton of yards, though. No. I'm shocked. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, like basically 200 or less. Yeah. I bet for him to throw over 225 and it didn't hit. I bet over 299. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All but right. It's fine. Guess my top five favorite foods. Oh, I have that on my list, too. I'm excited. Me. Um, pizza. Number one. Really? Yeah, it's interchangeable with number two. Wings. That's number four. Burgers. That's number two. Chicken. <laughs> no, but I do eat chicken a lot. <laughs> Are there desserts in there? No. There's one that I would assume it was on your favorite list, too. Steak. Yes. That's number <laughs> three. You just need number five. This is a curveball. I, I got it. What? I know it. What? Sushi. No. I knew you were going to guess that, though. Uh, is it a seafood? No. Curveball. Is it uh, euros? <laughs> no. Is it pork roll, egg, and cheese? No. 
Is it a breakfast Bye. sandwich? Maybe. That was debatable, though. I could have put that on there. No. Is it grilled cheese? No. <laughs> is it a sub? Is no. it a hoagie? No. Is it cheesesteak? No. Is it a sandwich? Has to do with cheese. cheese. It's not a sandwich. Cheese um, platter? No. Mozzarella sticks? No. Uh, uh, the second portion of the word. The second. It's Grilled th- cheese? No. It's something that I don't used to hate. Pasta cheese? <laughs> Pasta? No. You just said it, but not said. Didn't, Pasta. Didn't said. No. Cheese. No. <laughs> Mac and cheese, not Mac pasta cheese. cheese. <laughs> not pasta cheese, Zach. Yeah. Whatever. That was painful. Right, flip it back. Guess my top five favorite foods. Steak is number one. Steak's three. Chicken. Chicken is not on here. Okay. It's a, well, I got a little more specific. Burrito bowl? Burrito? Burrito's I mean? number five. Okay. So you said chicken. Go back to chicken. Chicken. Dissect uh, that grilled chicken. No. Fried chicken. No. Chicken sandwich. No. It can be a chicken sandwich. Chicken. Chicken nuggets. No. Chicken fingers. No. Chicken soup. No. Chicken. <laughs> Say it. Say farm. It. Chicken farm. <laughs> I knew that. A nice so chicken farm. Um, That's number two. Okay. Rice. No. Pasta. What? <laughs> no, no. Not pasta? No. One of them was on your list. Mac and cheese. No. Buffalo wings. Nope. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. Pizza. No, pizza's not. Number really? one's a wild card. Number one? I don't think you're, you're Is it a meatball it. sub? No. Meatballs? No. Italian food? Uh, it's, you can have it at Italian restaurants. I don't think Bread. No. And butter. No. It's a meat. It's a meat. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. Number one. I knew that. Number one. I knew that. I'm a big is that it? Guy. That is it. Wow. That was pretty good. Pretty solid. Guess my top five favorite NBA players. Oh, favorite NBA players. All, all time. All, all time? Steve Nash. That's number one. Bokey Knockbar. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Kidd. No. LeBron James. No. Michael Jordan. No. Vince Carter. Mm, no, but that's close. I, was, I would put him at like six. What I have? Steve Nash? Yeah. <laughs> Richard Jefferson. No. Carrie Kittles. No. Kenyon Martin. No. <laughs> am I am I Nets? You were very recently. Devin Harris. <laughs> no. Kevin Durant. Yes. Devin Harris. Kyrie Irving. No. Kevin Durant's number two though. Luka other... Doncic. No. Steph Curry. No. Giannis. None of them are current. Tracy McGrady. No. Yao Ming. No. One's a big man. Joel Embiid. No. Not, not current. current. Shaq. Yes. Number three. It's number three. Number four and five you need. Mm. They're both shooting guards. Shooting guards for what? Not the Nets? They no. We just did the draft of shooting I guards. I know we did. I didn't know if that... Allen Iverson. Yes. That's number five. Is it Ray Allen? No. no it's Kobe. It's Kobe. It's stupid. <laughs> it's not Ray Allen. Yeah, Ray Allen. <laughs> I don't think Ray Allen would be on anyone's top five favorite players. Yeah, he was a baller, though. He was. I, I appreciate... I respect his game. All right. You're up. All right. Guess my top five current NBA players. Favorite NBA players? No, like the who I think is oh, the, the best. top five. Okay. Luka Doncic. Luka's number two Giannis. on my list. Giannis is number one. Okay. Not Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's four. Okay. I was going to say because you don't like him, I, really. No, but I don't like him as a net. But you respect him. I think on the right team, he's, he's yeah. deadly. He's lethal. He's, okay. uh, he's already deadly and lethal. But. Okay. So, Nikola Jokic. That is my number three. Joel Embiid. I haven't beat at five. Yeah, that's pretty. Who quick. else would you put? Uh I think that's Steph Curry. I I kept Steph off because he's hurt because he's injured. So okay. when I said right now, Tatum. I don't. I have him on the. He's so you'd on rather the have him beat than Tatum? I've watched Tatum recently. Yeah, and I'm not impressed with some of his. I think he's a little streaky. He could shoot. He could score. He looks sloppy around the rim sometimes. Fair. I don't think he's that great of a finisher at the rim. Okay. There, I said it. I said it. Guess my top five favorite TV shows. Okay. All time. All time. Stranger Things. No. <laughs> That's it? That's all you had? Oh, my God. Game of Thrones. No. Never seen it. Uh, what's the name of the show with Jason Bateman? Ozark. Ozark. That's number two. Thank you. Recently moved to number two. Wow. White Lotus. No. <laughs> I do like that show, though. Wednesday. No. <laughs> this is horrible. You uh, know. The Sopranos. No. Breaking Bad. No. Walking Dead. No. Walking Dead. Family Guy. No. Well, it would be, but I did like series, like real series. 
Uh, one goes on. It, one takes place in England. Peaky Blinders. That's number one. The other three are kind of older shows. One's about an island. Lost. Lost is number three. Am I just going to do no, this? No, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> number four second, or five. You need. I don't think um, you'll get number five. All right, give me a hint. Uh, number four. Number four is about jail. Prison break. Yes. I know. And I know. I, knew I know these. you know this. I know these. And number five is about a killer. Serial killer. Jeffrey Dahmer. No, that's. No. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad of a guess. No. Ah. Uh, oh. If that was my favorite show, there would be something off with me. A killer? It's Dexter. Oh. It's a great show. It's like seven seasons. I've only seen the last two episodes of the series. This is the only episodes I've watched. What t- well, you can never watch that show, I yeah. guess. I saw the season finale of the second to last season and the last two episodes of the entire series. The one in the, in the winter? Yeah, whatever it was. I, I got know. you. All it right. was years ago. I just walked in and I was watching it. All right. You're up. All right. Guess my top five comedy actors. Will Ferrell's number one. Will Ferrell's number one. Adam Sandler's number two. Sandler's two. Jack Black's number three. Oh, my God. Yes. Did you not put him on your list? <laughs> oh. oh, no, Zach. No, he's here. He's here. He's here. No, he wasn't. Yeah, no, no, no he's, he wasn't. He's three. He's three. He's three. <laughs> Who'd you bump off the list? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Who'd you bump off the list? I don't know what you're Who'd talking you about. Who'd you bump off the list? I'm going to bump off Eddie Murphy. Okay. That was bad. So he wasn't on the list. Wow. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's four. Am I going to go in order right now? You could. This... Oh. Ben Stiller. No. Oh, I thought you loved this. No. Mike Myers? No. That's another good one. Ah, oh, that might that might have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, uh, let's think here. Let's think here. Not typically known for his movies, but um, Michael Scott. Yeah, Steve Carell. Steve Carell. Steve Carell. That's a good list. I think he's an underrated movie guy, and just told you what you don't know about yourself. Yeah, it honestly, could have changed the whole list based off. <laughs> just That's pretty good. Rank these fast food restaurants without knowing what comes next. Popeyes. Fast food, Popeyes. We'll put them, we'll slot them in at three. I like okay. it. I like it at three. The spicy chicken sandwich. I think that's safe. Taco Bell. Five. Five. Not a big, they have a lot of variety and they're, they're I don't consume it as okay. much. Okay. Slot them at five. Chick fil A. Mm. I'm going to put Chick fil A at two. Two. I'm confident I know one of the next two. You're saving. Domino's. I do. I like Domino's pizza for what it is. So you're going to put it's it the at best one? best of the fast food ones. No, I'm going to go four. All right. Here's your number one. Just please say Chipotle. Arby's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just set you up there. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, Arby's number one. They do have the meat. <laughs> they do. Have you ever had Arby's? No. <laughs> I don't think anyone has. I don't even think I've ever seen one. I don't even <laughs> let alone have it. Arby's number one. Oh, that hurts. Wow. <laughs> Rank these foods without knowing what comes next. Wings. All right. Wings. I'm going to put... Oh, this is tough. I'm going to put them at number three. Okay, right in the middle. Yeah. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers, I'm going to put at, I'm going to put at number one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs are good. Dirty water dogs are good. And if you say they're not, you're wrong. I'm going to put them at four. At four. Okay. Burritos. Burritos are definitely better than hot dogs, and I like them better than wings, so I'll put them at two, respectively. Okay. What do you have left? Five. Pasta. Okay. That's fine with me. I'm not a big pasta guy. You're not a big pasta guy. I'm happy with that list. That's good. All right. Solid. Rank these NBA players without knowing what comes next. Luka Doncic. I'm going to put him at two. Okay. Russell Westbrook. Five. Okay. Donovan Mitchell. I don't know. I'm trying to think what you're going to give me next. Uh, Let's put him at four. Okay. Shoot. Kyrie Irving. Let's put Kyrie at three. So you have one. I've left. made the same mistake twice. <laughs> yeah, that was. You, yeah. you made the same mistake hit, twice, hit and I set you up again. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, obviously top of the list. He's obviously. Better than Luka Doncic. Yeah, and Kyrie and Donovan Mitchell. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Okay. Rank these social media apps without knowing the next one. TikTok. Ooh, TikTok. I'm going to go number. Ooh, this is tough. I'm going to go TikTok at number two. Okay, Instagram. Instagram, I'm putting at number three. YouTube. YouTube's number one. So you have the first three filled? Yeah, yeah. Twitter. No. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter? 
I don't use Twitter. I'm putting it at five. LinkedIn. Oh, damn. <laughs> I definitely use Twitter more than LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn at number four, I guess. That was that uh, little stab back yeah, at you. That, so it wasn't trying. terrible, but <laughs> I got my first three. All right. Rank these rappers without knowing what's coming next. Kodak Black. I'm going to put him at four. I, I don't listen to a lot of his stuff. That's fair. 21 Savage. Let's put him at three. I okay. like three. Future. Put Future at one. At one. Okay. That's fair. I think Future's underrated. He's big. He's great. He's big. Kendrick Lamar. Let's put him at two. Okay. You have your last spot again. Reverse strategy. Lil Baby. Yeah, he's probably better probably than up. Kodak. Yeah, yeah. Better than but, 21. But you know what? He fits in at five. And that's fine. I can't understand what he's saying at the time. <sighs> no, I'm kidding. We respect you, Lil Baby. <laughs> Rank these five shows without knowing the next one. Okay. Stranger Things. Ooh. Okay. This is... This is interesting. I think Stranger Things is good, but not great. It's entertaining. I'll put it at three. Wednesday. Wednesday was Wednesday was good. It was underrated. I think it. I think it's a decent show. I'll put it at four. Game of Thrones. All right. So this is for my preference. I'm going to put it at five. Oh. Yeah. Wow. The Walking Dead. Damn it. <laughs> I would have put The Walking Dead at five. I guess at two. And what do you have, one? Yeah. You. All right, I watch you, and I actually enjoy it. I would have changed the whole list up. Yeah, it's a little, but, little wonky there. Yeah. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, that gave me a headache. That's the game. What's their net worth, Khabib? I have no idea how much UFC fighters make. Let's go with $50 million. Wow, good. $40 million. Nice. 10 mil off. Hezbula. Hezbula. $10 million. 100K. I think that's wrong. It has to be wrong. It has to be wrong. Unless his like whole posse just has more money. I don't know how he makes money, but he's like the one of the biggest social media. Oh yeah, that's true. But he doesn't advertise or anything. No, he NFTs. just drives around randomly all day. Oh, John, he does have the MLB. John Jones, Johnny Bones Jones, one of the best UFC fighters of all time. Yeah, let's go 110 million. Three million. I guess he spent. He must have. He must have. Big fight coming up. Interesting. What's their net worth? Tom Brady. Brady. Didn't he lose a lot of money with In his the divorce? Crypto. Oh. <laughs> like there was a scandal or something. He lost like seven hundred million dollars or something. Not seven hundred million. I'm gonna say five hundred million. He's two hundred fifty million. Okay. But his uh new contract for his announcing deal is more oh, than yeah. that. That's crazy. Patrick Mahomes. Patty Mahomes hasn't been in the league too long yet, but he has state farm. He has his money. It's like a four hundred fifty million dollar contract. Yeah, but it has to be less. Or it's five hundred million. I'm yeah. gonna say a hundred mil. A fifty. 50 okay. Million. Robert Downey Jr. Ooh, he's definitely up there with Tom Brady. I would say around the same. Two fifty. Three fifty. Uh three hundred. Okay. Three hundred million. Not terrible. Not awful. What's their net worth? John Cena. Can't see him. Uh let's go with a hundred fifty million. Eighty million. Okay. He's all over the board. He's saying he acts and everything. Yeah. He's not terrible either. Rihanna. She's 1.1 billion or something. 1.4 billion. Yeah, she's pregnant. Pregnant again. Jason Momoa. Again? She has a kid? Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> uh, Jason Momoa, let's go with 40 million. 25 million dollars. All right. What's their net worth? Selena Gomez. Isn't she like one of the most followed Instagram people? Correct. Um, for that reason, I'm going to put her at $120 million. $95 million. Not too far off. Gordon Ramsay. I honestly have absolutely no idea how much money he makes. Um, I'll put him around Selena. I'll go like $80 million. $220 million. Wow. If he heard you guess that, he would have called you an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Steve Carell. <laughs> Steve Carell, probably around $100 mil- I'll go $100 million. $80 million. All right. Good guess. Not, not off. Not dip, uh, not too far off. What's their net worth? Pete Davidson. PD. PDD. Let's go with uh, $15 million. $8 million. I think he's worth more than that now, though, if I had to guess. I'm going to say he's $15 million. 21 Savage. 21 Savage. I don't know. $6 million. $12 million, Double that. Nice. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Let's, let's get in the realm of $35 million. $20 million. But his, he's earned over $150 million from his contracts, which is interesting. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Best right. tight end of all time. Oh, wow. What's their net worth? Beyonce and Jay-Z. Together? Together. I got to do math. Dream couple. They're both billionaires. 
I don't know. Are they? I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm going to say $3.5 billion. $2.5 billion. Good guess. Chris Rock. Not a billionaire. Got slapped in the face. He did. <laughs> um, he's got that grown-ups money. Um, $75 million. $60 million. All right, I was going to say that. Not bad. Steve Harvey. He's been, he's been doing it for a while. Hundred fifty million. He's two hundred million. He has a lot of money. Payday, payday. I think that's it. All right, that's it for makeshift game time number. We don't know, but we're still doing it. We're not, I'm never counting. The, we're never counting. No, it's just makeshift game time. Just Welcome game back time. to nep- another episode. A nep- a nep- another episode. A nep- another episode. All right, that's a wrap. See you later. Never gonna give you up.